so I'm at a printing shop and I think I'm gonna try to salvage one of these suckers out of the dumpster to maybe try to make into some behind the couch art what do you think yeah let's get weird hey friends so it's Memorial Day weekend and I salvaged this giant posturepedic um, kind of hang sign from a trash can and I'm going to attempt to make it into art for one of the walls of my apartment. See how we can screw this up, shall we? <laughs> First off, I'm going to take some leftover um, paint from um, my project painting my dining room table and my bookshelves and shake it up and just do a full coat on this thing so none of the posturepedic leaks through and I'm starting with a straight up white canvas. So uh, it's Memorial Day and I'm about to spend some time attempting to paint this free canvas. I've done two coats of white paint on it and I also picked up a couple of little paints from Walmart. They're actually a matte finish, not a um, shiny finish. Uh, and they were $1.66 each and I also got some metallic gold. I actually I threw away all my brushes when I was moving because they were old and gross and gunky and I didn't feel like paying $5 for another one so I'm just going to use chipboard aka cardboard and use it to paint with. I also don't have any like huge source of inspiration here. I just don't want it to look exactly like my old um, one that I painted but it shouldn't because I used brushes on that. So I'm just going to start squirting paint around and kind of see what comes of it. It's supposed to be abstract. So So my camera ran out of storage, but I pretty much did that exact same thing until I got to this point. And now I am mixing some kind of navy blue paint out of some black and this color that I had left in my art box because I want to add another color. So carry on. Here's the finished product. Um, I didn't really do anything else to it other than let it dry and the picture hanger that I had on the wall wouldn't quite hold it so I actually installed a little um, curtain rod type holder, the kind that separates and juts out and has a little thing and I just screwed one of those in the middle and that works perfectly. So this is now my kitchen. I feel like it fills that space quite nicely. It might not be completely even, but the best thing about this is that the canvas was completely free, the paints only cost a couple of dollars, and I can completely change it up if I want to. So if I get sick of this in a week, I can pull it down, paint it white again, or add some more layers to it or something. It literally doesn't matter. So I, I cannot think of a cheaper way to make art. <laughs> I don't know if I can call what I just did art, but I do think it adds some color to an otherwise kind of bare wall. So I will see how I end up kind of liking it. I would love to hear what you guys think of 
my new little piece and if you've ever done something like this. See you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, the whole project took me less than an hour, including dry time and installing the new hanger. So that was a good use of an hour on Memorial Day and I'm all cleaned up and everything, all the supplies are put away. So, all right, I'm going to get more coffee.